morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. And what a great morning it is. It is Friday morning. A little bit before 8 o'clock in the morning. And I am in the Rockaways. I'm heading over to Arvern. Customers got AC that's not blowing cool. And I haven't been there in about five years. So we'll see what this is about. Looking forward. And just one little quick thing. I'd like to thank everyone for all of their comments yesterday when I was working on that two-ton carrier uh, for the... Um, for the lady with the leak on the evaporator coil. As you guys know, if you watch the video, I found the leak with the uh, LE Tech IR200, the electronic uh, leak detector. It's a great machine, reasonably priced. And of course, I'd like to give a special shout out to LE Tech for sponsoring the channel and sending me uh, some cool toys. You know, you need the right tools to get the job done. So special shout out to LE Tech. Check out their product if you haven't done so already. It's reasonably priced in my opinion. Half the price of the uh, Backrack H10, which I happen to love, by the way. But um, let me get your thoughts and feedback on that down in the comment section down below. Make sure you thumbs up. Happy Friday. If you love Fridays, thumbs up. St. Mike commands thee to thumbs up this video if you love Fridays. All right, almost there. Let's go see what's going on. Timer flash seven times. ETU system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you? Life was good. How are you? Excellent. Thank God. Where do we go? We go. Okay. What's going on this morning? You got the whole Long staircase. <laughs> but you also got the best views up here. Yeah, some would say. <laughs> A little warm up here. A little bit. Yeah. Of the year. Yeah, a little hot. Yeah, the heat rises. And, and it's rising up here. All right. So, all right. When did the problem start? The day before yesterday. Okay. It started to. What'd you notice? Just wasn't getting cool. It started okay. to warm up the air that was coming out. Okay. Um, what did you do? I left it. <laughs> I left it alone. And then uh, yesterday morning, it just started to get worse, so changed the filter. Okay. Follow me. How, how dirty the was the filter? We were, trying to, we were trying to clean it. I hear you. It's all good. <laughs> um, so, we changed the filter. Clean this up. It's very mucky. Okay. It was very mucky, but we put a good one in. Is um, the blower in here? The furnace? Yeah. So, yeah. No, no, no. I should have acted like I knew you were coming. It's all right. A little on time. And this is the thermostat set for yeah. off. I turned it off, yeah. Good. Let's see if the Just fan works. I got fan. Just don't worry about that. Just the stuff on the hinge right there. I just want to yeah. hear the... Sure. We have a Goodman system here. That's what they built in Auburn by the sea. As long as there's a door and a door here. A door and a door. That's interesting. <laughs> How does that? Pull this out. Let's pull okay. The backup door. Backup door. Sorry. Every house have one. Turn on. Well, how long has the thermostat been off? All day. Uh, Yesterday? Call it the past couple days? 18 hours. Uh, cool. Alright. So let's turn this on and let's go outside and see what happens. So you want to check the piece the piece? Yeah. Right, let me call Mr. I can always walk around. Yeah, no problem. Perfect. Yeah, it is like 20 degrees. Good morning. Good morning. Your neighbor I'm said we're, you're expecting me. Yes, I am. I'm vaccinated. Okay, who am I? I just gotta see the outdoor unit. Yes, I am. Am I going the right? Yeah, right there. Okay. Oh. Let's turn off the 
sprinkler. Any day now. <laughs> I'll turn it back on. Yeah. That's got a lot of pressure on that hose. <laughs> You know which one is yours? Okay. Very good. Yes, we do. Turn off the power. Alright, got ourselves a train, two ton. Wow. Yep, she's pregnant. Just to make sure. Good, good, good. Just watch out for that contactor. Right, what we got here? We have a 35 over 5. She's a little preggers. Well, more than a little. She's probably closer to like eight months pregnant. <sighs> I sure do love Fridays. Anyway, the parts are always in the truck. Let's find a 35.5. All right, that's all in order. There's a 35.5. Bingo. I'm gonna take a little piece of band iron, which I got right here. Right, and I keep a little piece of band on just in case it's a different size I keep little snips right there just for cutting band iron so there's the band iron there's my 35 5 dual cap let's get the system up and running See, there's a big size difference there that's why I generally observant and I grab a piece of band on if I think I'm gonna need it and we'll just replace that strap all right, I got the new cap installed, a nice new piece of band iron. I got the numbers visible. So someone servicing in the future knows what size it is, what I have to move it. Just a little added touch. Make sure that the terminals are nice and tight. We're gonna hook all these up and then keep it moving. All right, all the wiring is secured. I checked that potential relay. Contact is okay. Just wanna give it a once over with the coil. She's filthy. Look at all that dirt. This side, not so bad. Her other one. Yeah. Look at that one next. Terrible, that one side is pretty bad. Let's just see if I'm gonna clean one. Might as well clean both. This one looks okay. This box there, two and a half ton. Just one observation. Before I turn it on, there's a lot of dirt and dust on the coil itself, on primarily one side, the side facing the house. Uh, I looked at the other one as well, it looks pretty clean. Um, we should probably clean it. Wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, just ask to make sure it's working before we do anything further. I'm just gonna plug it in. And there we go, she's running. And as my loyal subscribers know, my go-to brand at the beginning of 2021 uh, cooling season was New Bright by New Calgon. And I forgot to put in another fresh one gallon bottle from after yesterday's three condensers we washed. But I have a, a left, uh, just enough here for one condenser. And as you guys do know, I happen to love Viper. This is great even on those micro channel coils that uh, are kind of dominant around here. So I'm gonna finish up this New Bright 
And then if we have any other service calls today, we'll have to clean the coil. Viper it is. All right, I got the condenser fan motor shroud removed. Take a deeper look in there. Doesn't look too bad, but I bet you she's never been properly washed. So we're gonna clean her down with the new bright base. Also looks pretty clean, so we're good with that. We're the choo-choo train. That's the A train, by the way, the Far Rockaway A train. Crazy foam, crazy. This side didn't look that dirty. Look how filthy that water is coming out. Look at that. Filthy. Here's an oops. I oops too. No one's perfect. I plug in the disconnect. You hear the compressor running. I don't see the fan running. I'm like, oh, let me tell tell me I got like water on the motor, condenser fan motor, and messed something up. I'm like, alright. So I take the cover off. And this is what I say. The wire fell off. I'm gonna put a new splice on there. up <laughs> saying it mildly typing up on the uh, service pal the customer's re receipt I got the date field in there and I got the customer's complaint sorry about the glare guys AC blowing warm diagnosis confirmed issue on top floor system system has been off for 18 hours check return filter and blower motor operation okay found outdoor condenser not operational during inspection down. Dual capacitor is swollen and defective, preventing compressor and condenser fan motor from operating. Discussed with client, potential issue of motor failure due to defective capacitor. I didn't get that on camera. Defect, uh, replaced dual capacitor, tested operation, okay. Then we found condensing coil dirty, acid washed and rinsed. Cycled system, tested okay. However, she's been running for about, about 10, 15 minutes or so and I'm still not getting hot air out of the system and on this train this 13 seer train and I didn't see any uh, high or low pressure switches so I got the Testo smart probe so we're gonna hook that up and see what's going on yeah this really sucks by the way that really does suck all right turn the system off we got no pressure <sighs> she's a leaker all right Sixty nitrogen out. Put two hundred psi of pressure in her. She's about there now. Let's close this off and close this, and well, let's let's do our job. What we get paid for? Let's find a leak. Yeah. Let me show you what I'm working with here. There's the water heater. Got about twelve inches there. 
vent's in the way. Gas is in the way. And I hear something in there. No oil present though, but I hear something in there. That was not a fun service call. I jinxed myself with that one. I really did. I Mikey Pipes played himself, I swear. Oh man, I jinxed myself so bad. Anyway, confirmed the leak in the evaporator coil. And when you factor in the, the cost of refrigerant R22, which has been phased out, you can still buy it, it's just very expensive. You know, it's really, really not cost effective to try that. She goes, can't you put like a bandaid on it or a sealant? I was like, listen, you want me to put a, you know, want me to try a sealant? You know, we'll vacuum down the system. You know, we'll throw some R22 in there. You need about six or seven pounds. You know, I'm going up about 60 feet and probably across, you probably have a hundred foot line set. So it's probably going to have maybe almost eight pounds of, of R22. Throw in the sealant in there and you're at thousands of dollars. Like seriously. Plus, the, you know, labor already, the time I already spent on site. You know, for what? And you're going to sign a, 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 a legal disclaimer that says that you shouldn't be doing this. We told you don't do it. Don't don't waste your money, like please. I'd rather you like, you know, not waste your money, piss away your money, because it's probably not gonna work. I heard the leak, you know. She was like, "Well, thank you so much for being honest." I was like, "Listen, you're hiring, you're hiring, you know, us to do a professional job." And she goes, "Well, how much is a new a new system?" And I gave her a price. She goes, "Oh my God, I didn't spend that much when I replaced my other system." And I was like, "Would you mind show me what you got?" So she has that Luxair condenser outside, that 410A condenser. And they didn't even swap out the evaporator coil. They just threw on an R410A TXV onto the Goodman uh, evaporator coil on top of a furnace, which basically is, by the way, tons of free room right there. If it was her system, it would have been much cheaper. But uh, it's like, listen, you have to compare apples to apples. Like, A, you need to replace your evaporator coil. I got to take, remove drain disconnect and remove the water heater i gotta shut down the gas to the apartment i have to disconnect the gas pipe and i have to disconnect the flue piping you know and then once i'm done with the evaporator coil you know put everything back together i'm here for a day you know and i said it is what it is like i've done all i could you know let me know uh when you may if you have any questions you know reach out to me reach out to the office and i'll try to do my best to help you but it is what it is and while i was there I got five more jobs today, so I jinxed myself. Not good. No bueno. No bueno. All right. Is what it is. Off to the next.